I was just beginning to run out of time. I was not able to breathe too good. And uh, so he kept saying, live six more months, you might have something we can do for you. And he was right, they did it. What TAVR is, is T-A-V-R, transcatheter aortic valve replacement. The device is a device that we are using to treat a subset of patients that have been very difficult to treat for us. These are elderly people with aortic stenosis or blockage in the main valve that leads out of the heart called the aortic valve. It seemed like a very simple procedure to me. I'm sure it's not to get that thing up in the right spot up there. It's a real trick, but they've learned how to do it. And it's amazing. What we're approved to do at this point is to make an incision in the groin, pass the device up through the vessels in the pelvis, up through the aorta, and we distend a balloon to open up the valve and then also with that same type of balloon mechanism, we deploy the valve or place the valve within the normal anatomic position. It's a great procedure for a great number of patients who need aortic valve replacement, but are not candidates for that procedure for increased risk of, uh, of surgical mortality. We can replace the valve without stopping the heart for the patient and without cracking the chest so the recovery time is faster. This is the easiest operation I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know what it was like for the doctors in the hospital, but for me, it was easy. They put me to sleep, woke me up, and I was a different person. <laughs> now he's doing great. He's feeling much better. He's 90 plus years old. Mentally, he's great. He's uh, so thankful, and with this procedure, they're gonna have many more years of good quality life. I'm a more energetic already, and I can talk longer than, by now I have to swallow some of my words and come up with them again, you know? But I'm not having too much trouble right now. As much as we're excited about this particular technology, I'm probably more excited about the fact that we have multi-disciplines working together, and I think that's gonna open the door to you know, really a, uh, a plethora of new devices and new technologies uh, to treat different types of cardiovascular diseases.